and South Georgia, neighbors aren't the only ones feeling the heat. South Georgia heat is torture to say the least. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighbor reporter here in Valdosta. I'm taking a look at how this affects Lowndes County farmers. Teresa Miller owns Snow Biz Mobile. They serve cool treats to help neighbors beat the South Georgia heat. During the summertime is our best times. But just because they have air conditioning and serve frozen food doesn't make working in the heat any easier. Right in the middle of one of the events, our um, generator messed up and it wouldn't pull the shaver and the air conditioner. We had to do without the air conditioner. It was miserable. Just feet away, Janet, Fifth Day Farms owner, is feeling the heat as well. It's just hot everywhere you go, it's hot. 83.6 billion of Georgia's economy comes from agriculture, plants, livestock, and visitor tourism. However, according to the Georgia Climate Info Portal, extreme heat results in monetary loss for farmers through increased need for veterinarian care and reduced growth of animals, which Janet tells me she's seeing more of during the last few days of 96 and above temperatures. Where we've been affected by, like we haven't had rain in a long time, so farmers that we typically get our hay from have been out of hay. Um, we've had to find other resources to get the hay because our animals have to have that to eat every day. Some good news, half of Georgia farmers are innovating through smart irrigation, new crop rotations, as well as partnerships to battle climate change. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas, reporting for ABC 27.